What, uh, David, what, what grade would you give us for our current recycling efforts in the United States? Wow, that's a tough one. Um, maybe a C plus. Uh, yeah, uh. I, I think we've come a long way in, just in the last 20 years and there's still progress being made and, and we're heading in the right direction. Um, I, think, I think maybe the biggest challenge in the area of recycling and waste management in general and this could apply to other topics we've been talking about like energy and so on, but, but particularly when it deals with waste management and, and recycling of materials, is that we need to do a whole lot better job of life cycle analysis of our materials to be able to make smart de decisions about them. I think there's probably a lot of things that we're doing that we think are helpful to the environment that maybe in hindsight we'll discover weren't all that helpful. Um, I'll use a common uh, issue about recycling. It, you know, we used to have our waste materials picked up in one garbage truck, all mixed together. And, and we decided that recycling was a better way to go than just burying it all in landfills. And in order to recycle efficiently and have materials that we could use as uh, raw materials for further manufacturing, uh, we had to protect their quality by separating them from garbage. And so now we have, um, oftentimes three trucks coming down our neighborhood streets, picking up three colors of waste cans, uh, you know, the gray or black one for the garbage, the green one for the yard waste, and the blue one for the mixed recyclables. And so the, the question that that raises is, are the, the energy, is the energy cost of operating those three trucks and manufacturing them, and is the atmospheric cost of their emissions does that justify what accomplishments that we've made in the change in behavior to do the recycling and reuse materials rather than uh, mining um, virgin materials or, or in the case of fiber, wood products, um, uh, having uh, forests that we manage uh, as a renewable resource? These are tough questions mm -hmm. to answer. And the, I would say by and large that the popular literature and the popular discussion that's out there treats these kinds of things uh, in a very trite way that isn't necessarily helpful to what we're doing overall. So we have a long ways to go in this area, I think. Other comments on that one? Recycling, what's the grade? One thing that struck me is a um, little off the subject, but if you look at, say, the lifetime of major appliances, for example, you know, 34 years ago, you could buy a refrigerator that would last for 20 or 30 years. And now, well, the cheapening of them means they only last 10 years, or you replace a dishwasher every five years. And again, if you look at the total cost of recycling, reinstalling, reusing it, is that really an efficient use of resources? Related to that, but again, a little further away from the question, we are bombarded constantly in the media with the message, you must consume. Our mantra is, I have, therefore I am. If I don't have the newest, the best, the shiniest, the brightest, somehow I'm inferior. That's what I hear all the time on television. Mm -hmm. So rather than repair, we toss out and buy new. And that's not a very wise stewardship approach to whether it's a toaster or a refrigerator. Uh, or a cell phone. Or a cell phone yeah. or whatever. You know, reflecting back on some of the things that we've talked about, that, that this applies to a lot of the topics, uh, one really important personal choice that we can make that will have a huge uh, impact or, or, or have a huge uh, contribution towards lessening our impact on the environment is to live very close to where we work. Th that has implications for materials, consumption, recycling, for energy, for air pollution. And implications for family life, too. Implications for family life and the quality of life and the time that you're able to spend doing other things. Um, just, just one decision, one personal life choice uh, that I think is, is a very significant one.
Biola University offers a variety of biblically-centered degree programs, ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Visit biola.edu to find out how Biola could make a difference in your life.